Hey guys, welcome back. It's experiment time. I, I just want to see if I can do something, because I don't think that I've ever seen anybody do it. Although, if you have, please let me know in the comments so I can go and take a gander. I'm going to try to do a bloom with UV resin. Yep, you heard me. Like I said, it's an experiment. So I have my about alcohol links over here. I have some UV resin in a little pot over here. I have my alumilite, turn it around, alumilite white pigment paste, <coughs> excuse me, and a tickle in my throat. So I apologize in advance for that one, sort of. So... Uh, yeah, I think one will be fine. One drop. Uh, let me get a high tightness mitigation device. <laughs> yeah, you're probably sitting there going, what in the hell is she doing wasting that much UV ribbon? Well, one, it's mine to do with as I wish, and two, like I said, it's an experiment. So we'll see what happens, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get my white mixed up here in my UV resin and let that sit off to the side to degas and everything. I mean, why wouldn't it work? Theoretically, it's just really, really fast curing resin, right? Yes. So let's just go with it. You know what? Humor me. Humor me, folks. Okay, so this is obviously my uh, tray mold. And I'm just going to put thin layer of UV resin on the bottom and let that move around and do its thing and then we'll see how much more we need to add. Okay. So that is, I'd say that's just about a, the right right amount. I am going to add just a toast more. Just a toast. There we go. And then, as we do with all of our blooms, we go around with a silicone tool to get those little bubbles out of there. Or at least try. Did I mention this was an experiment? Okay. Now, with UV resin, one of the fun parts is, is it self-levels really easy. It also degasses pretty easily when it warms up. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to put the cap on this. Now, UV resin, historically speaking, does not like alcohol ink. They don't get along very well. And see, my phone even agrees with me. It's farting at me saying, are you insane, woman? Yes. Yes, I am. Clinically. So, alcohol inks. Violet. Because why not? I mean, you can do Petri's. In... Uh, 
UV resin, theoretically speaking, red, and here's a nice blue. Where's a nice one? Here's one. And what is one? This, this is blue. So we have some nice polka dots. Right? Right. Okay, so we have our polka dots. We'll let that settle in for a second. And then we have our white UV over here. Right? So I'm just going to do like I do with all my other normal, regular, everyday, morning dull blooms. Got my mitigation device here. And I'm just going to go in and make petals. Because why not? I want to see what it does. Could be an epic failure. Probably will be. But it'll be fun to do. Somebody else might see this and say, Oh my god, that crazy woman in Colorado did try to do a bloom with UV resin. Let's see what I can do with it to make it even better. And I'll be like, Go for it. Do it. Now. Go. Go do it. If you're inspired to try something, by all means. Don't let anybody tell you no. Unless it's your uh, life insurance agent telling you not to do something because it's going to void your policy. <laughs> then don't do it. So there's that. So I'm just going to go in and start farting around with my petals as per usual with blooms, right? We break up blobbies, we do stuff, do the blobby thing. Big truck backing up outside, making beeping noises, doing the beepy thing. All right. Ah. So now. We've got this done, okay? And as per normal with my other blooms, I'm going to go over it with a tiny torch, get some of those bubbles out. So what this also does is it warms up the resin, right? So essentially, I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what it does. You guys want to wait with me? Yeah? Okay. Let's see what happens. Now, the benefit for you is you're going to sit here and wait with me, but I'm going to put it in fast forward for you so you don't have to sit here and wait for as long as I do. Right? It's the whole, you know, min max thing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to see what this does. Scooch in a little bit. Okay. See, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, one thing I did forget to do. Give it a little swirl. Oh, gosh, I am dropping stuff. 
all over there. Anyway, yeah, see you in a little while. Now you can obviously see things have moved. Yes. So now what we are going to do is grab a varietal source of Uvenus and blast it from many different angles with UV light to cure it as you do. Just trying to get the best spots here for my lights. There's that one. It actually needs to go a little bit this way. My UV pelican, as I call it. And then we've got Old Faithful here. And we're just gonna, yeah. So I'm gonna do. Two minutes on this one, two minutes on this one, and I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, so first two minutes of curing is what I was expecting. We all know UV resin, alcohol ink, they don't like each other. So I was expecting it to go a bit wiggly. Yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do, so I'm just testing to make sure... The majority of it, yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty firm. So I'm going to turn it over, and you can kind of see what's doing under there. But I'm going to quickly hide it again and give it another couple of minutes under the pelican and under the other light, just to you know get my firmness. Okay, all done there. As I drop things. So now we have a decision to make. We have a decision to make as to <laughs> see. This is one of my stunt molds, just as an FYI, because yes, the UV resin will it, it will blow up and it will distort uh, if you use this much of it in you know this large. Uh, of, a, of an amount. Uh, so now the question is, do I want to put a backing on it? <sighs> or do I just want to take it out and use it as like this funky piece of stained glass? <laughs> um, I guess I could always put a backing on it later because right now this is all about just whether or not I can actually do it. Uh, to make a bloom out of UV resin. So let's get it out and see how it turned out. That is coming out of the mold. Don't see any blurpy spots or uncuredness. It is still a little bit sticky on the back, but that's fine. Um, again, you can just run it through you know, and that's just like around. Well, actually, no, it's not. Now that it's cooling down, it's not really sticky. It's just, you know, UV resin. So let's move that out of the way. 
And would you look at that? Holy shit. <laughs> so I can safely say, yeah. And it's pretty effing cool. So answer is, yep, you can do blooms in nothing but UV resin. It's going to take some refining. It worked. It works beautifully. Holy crap. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, joining me in my little adventure here. And um, give it a shot. Give it a try. You never know. <laughs> if you have a thought, act on it. You never know how it's going to turn out, right? So anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you again in the next one, I hope. Take care, guys. Cheers.